Hi, I'm Lorna from Wearably Weird, and today I'm going to be showing you how to starlace your Nike Air Max 90s. Now, this looks like it's quite tricky, but I promise you, if you go slowly, follow along with me, pause the video as much as you need, or even set it to a slower speed, it can be super easy to get done. So let's get started. Before we get started, put a pair of socks down underneath the sneaker tongue, as this will create some resistance and make the pattern come out nice and evenly. And I also want to mention that this works best on sneakers with a minimum of seven eyelets. If you have less than that, you're going to struggle. If you have more than that, no problem. But seven is what you need as a minimum. Start by taking one of your lace ends and feeding it down into the second eyelet from the top on this side here. And now you just want to pull that through until you have about this much lace left and just tuck that out of the way for now. Then we're going to bring this lace across the sneaker tongue and into the second eyelet down from the top on the left hand side as well. So I'll just do that now. Pull it all the way through to create a little bar there. Now this bar is going to be the anchor for your lace here and I'll show you how to do the next step now. So go ahead, keep a hold of this lace, skip the next eyelet down and instead go to the eyelet below that. So that should be the fourth eyelet down from the top. Take the lace end and bring it up into it from underneath, just like this. Pull the lace all the way through. Next, we're gonna bring this lace over the sneaker tongue and down into the eyelet across from it on this side. Pull it through till we have another little bar here. Next, keep a hold of this lace and we're going to bring it up and through the very bottom eyelet on this side, just like this. Until all of this little loop is just tucked out of sight, just like that. Now we're going to form one of the arms of the star by bringing this lace over the sneaker tongue and down into this eyelet that already has a lace in it here. Now Air Max 90s eyelets can be a little bit tight so I suggest just taking your time and trying to get the lace end through the eyelet here. After some wiggling it is possible to get it through. It's fiddly but just take your time. Don't be afraid to be a little bit rough with it and eventually it will work. So you want to pull that lace through and make sure there's no creasing. Unfortunately there isn't mine but it just happens. Take your time, pull it back. Keep feeding it through until it's nice and straight and you can really see the star pattern starting to form now. Then I'm going to take this lace, run it underneath all these pattern bits here just like that. And then we're going to feed it into the very bottom eyelet on this side now from underneath. Just like that. Then we're going to bring this lace across the sneaker tongue and down into this eyelet here that also has a lace inside it already. So we're going to do the same just as we did before, push that lace end through the hole, it's a little bit fiddly, but just keep wiggling it until it works. After some wiggling, you'll get the lace end through. Pull it all the way through. And then we're gonna feed this lace underneath the whole pattern again just like that and we're going to want to try and bring it up from underneath through this very bottom eyelet here now i find this very bottom eyelet can be quite stiff so what i like to do first is take the lace end and push it down into the hole from above first just like that and then just wiggle it around like this to widen out the canvas of the hole and make this a little bit easier to do once you've done that, take it out and we're going to bring it up into this hole from underneath this time. Now once you've got that lace end up through from underneath, pull it tight like that, 
straighten out the lace a little bit and then we're going to feed the lace end underneath this little bar here just like that and then we're going to take it over the top of this anchoring lace that I mentioned earlier so just loop it over the top like that and it'll form the top anchor for your little star to hang off of then you want to take this lace end feed it underneath this part of the star here just go slowly just like that make sure there's no creases and you can see our little star pattern is starting to form really well then we want to feed this lace end down into the very bottom eyelet on this side here again this is going to be quite fiddly but just use the lace end to wiggle and widen the hole a little bit just like that before pulling it all the way through take your time make sure there's no creases on your star and just like that look our star pattern has formed now we're going to keep a hold of this lace and we're going to feed it underneath the entire pattern here so just underneath everything pull it through and we're going to kind of tuck it underneath the side of the sneaker there then we're going to bring it up into the very top eyelet on this side from underneath just like this and we're going to finish off our pattern by nicely bringing it across the sneaker tongue and down into the empty top eyelet on the right hand side as well just like that and look how good that's starting to look now you might be wondering what do we do with these lace ends and how do we finish off the look well just simply knot them to stop the pattern coming loose like this and slip them down inside the sneaker then you can just slip your foot inside and the little knot shouldn't bother you too much while you're walking in my experience Repeat the pattern on your other sneaker and you'll have a pair of really cool star laced Air Max 90s. If you found the info in this video helpful, please hit the like button to help it reach more people and subscribe for more sneaker lacing content. Thanks.